Oh my goodness. Yes, it's Rachel Korumpoi. And I've just discovered something very weird. I was just enjoying my mango peacefully. Then from nowhere, a bag, big one, with a very big thrombosis. Look at it. Trying to focus for you people to see. Disclaimer, please. I'm not trying to threaten anybody or like telling you guys not to eat your fruits. No. We have to eat fruits, especially the fruits in season. Lazima tutazikula. But guys, yesterday when I was talking about supplementing our, our, our food with the right supplements, this is what I meant. Uh, bugs have a tendency of, of doing what? Of mutating, trying to be more strong. And especially when it is dry season like now, they become stubborn. You spray, they don't die. And the, the stronger they become, the stronger the pesticide and the more harmful they are to us. So I said, let me share with you this and also share with you the mangoes that I have not yet cut. You see, that one is very nice. I don't know how much it is in the You see? But here I am, busy enjoying my fruit. Then from nowhere, see? This one, Kwanzaa Ilikuwa, very beautiful, very smart. Then from nowhere, I have a visitor. Eat from inside. Look at the hole. Hmm? Gross. Very disgusting. Ah, look at it. So my advice, why do we need to, why we need to supplement our foods? Because we cannot run away from pesticides. These things, they mutate. The farmers go for more stronger chemicals, which are more harmful to us. Another, oh goodness, gross, disgusting, yuck. People, another thing, let us not give our children mangoes like this to chew on for themselves. Because that's where they'll, they'll end up, you know, They'll end up eating either maggots. They'll end up maybe chewing on such things because they're children. Age 1 to, let's say age 2, age 3 to 10. Wash your fruits under running water. Cut them yourself. Verify. Check. If you cut a fruit and then you find like there, it's oozing white things on the sides, those are maggots. Draw away the fruit. Don't give your children. Because you don't know whether they are digestible. We don't know what poison these things carry. Now to the farmer who planted these mangoes. I believe they are from the same farm. He must have gone through a lot of losses. Because his fruits now are not gradable. These ones are below 2. Grade 2. Zikochinia. They cannot be star 5. So... Let us wash our fruits. Let us be careful. Another thing, now let us supplement our diet. Why? Because we cannot run away from, from, from pesticides. We cannot. From fertilizers. We cannot. In fact, next year, if this farmer today will realize that his fruits have this, <laughs> he will do very strong chemical to curb this because this is loss for him. So let us be diligent, let us be careful, let us trust God and let us love ourselves. Let us give ourselves the right supplement to supplement our health and our diet. Because now this mango, yes, I've eaten it, maybe I've gotten 50% of the nutrients in this mango. Maybe the rest got depleted by the chemicals and you cannot run away from chemicals. Insect infestation is a must where there is food production in their farm, avocados, apples, anything that is sweet, oranges, they have pesticides because they have to curb this. They have to. So let us trust God. Let us be prayerful, but let us also be careful. Knowledge is power. I'm not, I'm giving out a disclaimer. Looks disgusting, but the knowledge is power. You will know what to expect in the market. And if you are a farmer, you know that these things are there. 
this is not rocket science for you to know that these things are there in our farms no all of us know so god bless you so much please like share ask me for ag sarah supplement for your health yes and god will bless you so much i love you god loves you so much please subscribe and share bless you and there goes my bag now i think i'm just going to throw him to the dustbin because i'm no longer eating these two mangoes but um this one's <laughs> I wonder whether tomorrow if I cut them, they'll also have mugs. God bless you so much. Bless you, bless you, bless you.